Remember that cryptocurrencies are associated with a high degree of risk, so it goes without saying that you should do your homework before investing. Right now, we are on the precipice of a new technological revolution that has the potential to transcend to a societal revolution. If you have not been living under the rocks, you already know how the metaverse has become one of the hottest buzzwords reverberating through the global tech sector. And while we're still in the very early stages of its development and adoption, it appears there are already some front runners in terms of the big entities that will dominate the metaverse space in the years to come. And who are these players? Well, let's have a look in this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Say cheer for Kalkine Media. JP Morgan's Decentraland Bet Financial Institution. JP Morgan clearly has big expectations for this new virtual realm, predicting last week a market of 1 trillion US dollars and perhaps a lot more could be on the way. The banking giant has also made no secret of which metaverse they believe will be the dominant player in the space, Decentraland. In fact, JP Morgan recently became the first big bank to establish a metaverse presence, setting up a virtual shop in Decentraland's Metajuku Mall. That's not only metaverse JP Morgan believes in though. In its recent opportunities in the metaverse report, the banking giant also noted the sandbox, Somnium space and crypto voxels as the leading web 3.0 metaverse worlds. Other possible contenders include Axie Infinity, Engine Coin, and Shiba Inu. The common denominator. Apart from the fact that all these metaverses are vying for potential future market dominance, the one other notable thing these virtual worlds have in common is the cryptocurrency they use. And while they all have their own unique tokens, all of those tokens lie on the Ethereum blockchain. But why does Ethereum seem to be the blockchain of choice for metaverse developers? You must be wondering. Well, one big reason is Ethereum's widespread adoption across the crypto market. And what separates Ethereum from Bitcoin is its use of smart contracts, which allows developers to build programs into the digital ecosystem. And while there are other similar blockchains like Cardano and Polkadot, Ethereum's platform is more established. Of course, the downside to Ethereum's blockchain has to do with the fact that it is more established than recently built platforms like Cardano. Ethereum's age has resulted in its slow transaction speeds and high transaction rates. In conclusion, it's hard to know exactly how dominant a part of everyday life the metaverse will be. It seems more to be a question of when rather than if. One thing seems certain, however, and that's Ethereum's presence within the metaverse space. Thanks for joining us in the report. If you do like the information, let us know by liking, sharing, commenting on the video below. Subscribe to the channel, press that bell icon, you'll be notified of the latest videos from Kalkine. But for more articles like this, please do head to the website, kalkinemedia.com. Stay here for Kalkine Media.